Today, I would like to talk about iron deficiency anemia, simply because I get hundreds of questions about iron deficiency anemia. So let's begin. There are many types of anemia, but one of the most important causes of anemia is iron deficiency anemia, which means the body lacks adequate amounts of iron to make new red blood cells which carry hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is very important because it attaches to oxygen and carries this oxygen inside the vessels to different parts of the body, including your heart, brain, and the muscles. When you have iron deficiency anemia, there's a drop in the hemoglobin, hematocrit, and iron levels, and the body doesn't function properly. What are some of the causes of iron deficiency anemia? Well, I'm gonna tell you about a few. One of the most important causes is blood loss. For example, if you're having frequent heavy vaginal bleeding during your cycles. Another one is blood loss through the GI tract in the case of colon cancer. A second important cause is the lack of absorption of iron through the GI tract. For example, in patients with celiac disease, the mucosa is thickened and abnormal, and it does not allow for the absorption of iron through the mucosa in the duodenum. People with a history of gastric bypass surgery or weight loss surgery are also at risk because their duodenum is bypassed. The third cause of iron deficiency is poor intake of iron, but I would like to emphasize that this is an extremely rare cause of iron deficiency anemia here in the United States where food is plentiful. This is why it's extremely upsetting to me when people go to see a practitioner and they have iron deficiency anemia and the practitioner blames their vegan diet for iron deficiency. First of all, a properly planned vegan diet contains plenty of iron and iron is not a nutrient of concern. Second of all, they completely overlook the other two important causes of anemia, which includes blood loss and lack of iron absorption. When someone has iron deficiency anemia, colon cancer should be ruled out, in particular in patients who are 45 years of age or older. Of course, if they're a young female and they have heavy frequent cycles, well, then that explains the cause of anemia and most likely not due to colon cancer. It is actually extremely difficult to become iron deficient if you're not bleeding. It's difficult to develop iron deficiency anemia if you're not losing blood. This is because the body has an excellent ability to recycle the iron over and over again through one's lifetime. Every time a red blood cell dies inside the blood vessels, the iron circles back into the bone marrow to be reused to make new blood cells. It's not really lost. So, unless one is losing that iron through the vaginal tract or through the GI tract, it's almost impossible to become iron deficient unless in the case of celiac disease or gastric bypass surgery. So, let's just say you have iron deficiency anemia. What should you do? Well, you should replenish your iron stores by taking a plant-based iron supplement because plant iron is healthier than heme iron, which comes from animal products. Sometimes food alone cannot be enough to replenish your iron stores and you will need a supplement. In fact, even if you take a supplement, it may take up to nine months to replenish your iron stores. This brings me to the next point. Many practitioners ask their patients to eat more meat and liver. This is a mistake because heme iron is inflammatory cardiotoxic, and can potentially cause colon cancer. Heme iron from animal products is not the healthiest way to replenish the iron stores in your body, just like you wouldn't eat cheese for calcium, which causes inflammation. So once again, most importantly, talk to your doctor to investigate the underlying cause of your iron deficiency anemia and fix it. But I would like to show you an analogy. All right. Over here, I'm holding a colander. As you see, there are a bunch of holes in here. Let's just say I help this under water and try to fill it up with water. How successful will I be when water is constantly escaping 
the sieve place and leaving and not filling up. This is the same thing as your body. Let's just say you're having heavy vaginal bleeding and periods and every month you're losing a whole bunch of blood. Let's say you have colon cancer and you're constantly losing blood. How well would it work if you keep eating foods with iron? How well would it work if you keep taking iron supplements? Not very well. So you have to pluck the pores first. Then you try to replenish it and then you can be safe that you're going to have normal levels. I hope that helps. This is important because a lot of practitioners are misguiding patients and asking them to eat inflammatory foods to replenish their iron stores. Thank you for listening to this episode of Iron Deficiency Anemia, hashtag Dr. Angie Siddigi, hashtag Iron Deficiency Anemia.